Hi, friends. Okay, so I, um, first of all, I hope everyone is healthy and happy and safe at home. Um, I got contacted that the laser challenge game that I posted was a little confusing um, and tricky, so I wanted to show you how it's done and help you out. So, I'm just going to continue without signing in because I have my personal Gmail on here and I'm not quite sure which one will sign in, so I'm just going to not do that. Um, be Miss Rock. Let's go and get them. Loading, loading, loading. So, this activity for you guys is to practice angle measure and if you've ever played a game like bubble shoot it's kind of like that where you have like a little um gun at the bottom and it shoots out bubbles and you try to get bubbles and you can sometimes like bounce it off the wall to get it to do what you want it to do so that's what this kind of is you have your laser here and here's a mirror um and your goal is to try to hit all of these dots and make them all blue you do that by changing the value of either the laser's degree or the mirror's degree. Right now, I'm kind of happy with what I think the mirror's going to do. Because I think what's going to happen is if I have this laser pointing straight up, it's going to hit him. And then when it hits the laser, it's going to bounce off this way. So I don't want to change the mirror. I want to change the laser. Hi, buddy. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Here. There Cam. Okay. Sorry. All right, so we're going to change the laser. And I'm thinking if I go small, oh, geez, that's really small. And that's the opposite way that I want to go. But if I go big, let's try maybe 180. Oh, wow. Way too big. Okay. Well, 18. Oh, too small. Let's go maybe 50. Okay. Closer. we got to go more than 50. Let's try 90. Okay, by making it go 90 degrees, which is this angle measure here, it shoots straight up into the mirror and straight over. Happy campers. So we get to go to the next one. Okay, so now, same thing. The goal is to change the laser's degree and the mirror degree to hit all of these dots. Well, if I envision the laser opening up this way, I can see that it can hit each one individually, but to hit all of them in this straight line, I'm going to need the laser to hit the mirror, and then the mirror to be angled to hit the dots. I'm thinking the laser doesn't have to go up very far, right? We know this is 90 degrees. 180 would be created straight across, so I'm thinking it's going to be small. So let's try 30. Okay. Cool, so I hit the mirror, but the mirror is not facing the correct way. So let's change the mirror. Um, right now the mirror is at zero. If I change it to 90, it's going to create like a 90 degree angle, which I think is going to be more like that. So let's, let's see what happens when I hit 90. Whoa, I didn't even know that would happen, and it happened. Amazing. So sometimes this is going to be a little bit of, I guess, in check. It's going to be a little bit of a playing around. Um, and it's all about playing around with angles. And they're all just fun. There's no wrong way to do this as long as you're just playing around and making angles. We made a 30 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here, and it worked. And honestly, if I did something different here, if I did 80, okay, not enough, but what if I did 85? Oh, no, it's still not 87. 87 hit 1. Okay, cool. Um, what if I did 92? Okay, 92 hit 1. If I did 91, I got it with 91, and I got it with 90. So, there's room to play around here a little bit. Oh, buddy. You want to come over and say hi? Thank you. Thank you, buddy. You're a good boy. Okay, um, I think that's it. I want you guys to kind of, okay, thank you. I want you guys to kind of play around with this and um, figure out what to do next. Um, so you guys can play on the next few screens. Have fun. Remember, this isn't due until Monday. And if you have any other questions, you can always email me or call me, and he will help as well. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> okay, guys, bye. Have fun.